more. Pre-first contact information. Get ready to connect in with the higher grid. Thoughts of real love is the real magic of creation. You are very, very powerful light beings of love and brilliance. What the higher grid, true reality, upper realms, and the kingdom of heaven is, <clears throat> is pure thought. When you get to pure thought, which is clear from all lower thoughts, this is when your co-creative powers open up for you. If you are in lower thoughts, you experience static, chaos, confusion, you're unclear, and you're powerless. Some of your other messengers have shared with you about a crystalline body form. Being in pure thought, or the higher thoughts, which is crystal clear, is what they are referring to as a crystalline body, free of all lower thoughts. This is the higher grid and is where you are then free from the program, where you are clear, crystal clear. No ego, no darkness, only love, light, truth, and brilliance. This is called super consciousness. To enter the kingdom of heaven on earth is your greatest joy. You can help your brothers and sisters by sharing the truth, your joy, and love with them. We will reheart you. Energy flows to where it is all open so that it can create into more grandness. This is the joy in the kingdom of heaven on earth equal heart. Pure thought forms which exist only in the present moment of now, are all thoughts that are of joy. They support love unconditionally. They support life, happiness, truth, God, and heaven. Lower thoughts are self-sabotaging, misery, pain, suffering. All of this is the program humanity has been in for 13,000 years. All lower thoughts only exist in the past or the future, never in the present moment. Lower thoughts only exist in the mind and ignorance, which is also referred to as nothing or hell. Here in the physical manifest, it is an extremely dense place and is nowhere near the truth of your existence. It's like walking in mud. This is what lower thoughts have done to this planet. Being down here with you in density is very strange to us from the celestial. We come from the upper realms, the upper thoughts. And this is where you all come in from as well, the upper realms. Where it is like a floating experience, heaven experience. And this is true reality. Now, the lower grid, or lower thoughts, have truly been all dissolved in the astral realm which which occurred in let's see it was 2009 for sure around June of 2009 is when we uh, completely dissolved the astral realm where all these thoughts were held what we are witnessing now is people going through their attachments to them and the illusion that they are still there well, I continue to hang on to something that simply does not even exist To move out of duality, which you have been in for a very long time, and move into the upper realms, you have to release all your lower thoughts and move through them. This is why we keep saying the only way out is through. Once released, you are then out of the program, you are free, and free to be your unique God spark expression, unlimited, edgeless, no boundaries, and with all possibilities granted, as decreed. We have the understanding 
as awakened empaths ourselves. How empaths feel everything, which includes everyone else's pain and suffering. Currently on this planet, all empaths have chosen to rise out of duality and unify together once again after being separated for over 13 millennia. Your time is now done with the experience of pain and suffering. Love has decreed this, and so it is. Love is all there is. All you have to accomplish as empaths is to let go. The higher grid is so much more fun to play in than duality. Since we are empaths ourselves, we cannot make others let go of their fear and their pain. All we can accomplish is to assist you in moving through it quickly. This is done by broadcasting our own higher vibrations into the grid and everyone can assist with this once they awaken from out of duality. Every breathing being and beating heart on this planet are all empaths. This is the beautiful part of humanity and something the Illuminati understood would be remembered eventually. What this means is that, is that you are feeling beings. You are love and nothing else. You have only been blocked from this truth until now. We are here to help you remember these truths and so together we may rise as one family united. Because you are empaths, you do have the higher understandings of energy and how it moves. This information and understanding is within you, and you can tap into it at any given moment. We cannot transmute any of your experiences. The best we can do is assist in the movement of energies to promote your awakening. All empaths are returning to the universal psychics so that everyone awakens completely out of the dream. It is magnanimous and magnanimous flow. <laughs> it means everyone is going there. Humanity's origin is divine. You see, creation is divine in origin. Everyone is from the divine, which is the same as spirit. Currently, you are returning to this, which is the return back into the light. This is the decree from love, and love holds all the cards. Not one of you are in control of this. Love is truly in charge. The higher magnetic grid, which was established in June of 2008, has been successfully grounded into planet Earth equal heart, hence why we now use the heaven and earth collide reference, for this is true and has occurred. You can envision this event as an eagle that has its talons firmly held around planet Earth equal heart, carrying her gently and securely. In true reality, we are flying through space, and most of humanity are not even aware of this. You have been led to believe by the powers who were that absolutely nothing was going on. That is incorrect. Creation is occurring. Father God and I have been sworn in from the highest to speak truth and nothing but the truth. We serve love. We honor love. We honor creation. We honor the truth, and we honor the truth of who each one of you truly are. We honor the true reality of the love called God everywhere present. And transmission in all love is unconditionally, we are so in love with humanity.